Hey guys, Value Hunter, coming back to you with another unbox video. Around Black Friday, there was a ton of good deals out there and a lot of the auction houses were running discounts on things like buyer's premium and shipping. And, and so on top of doing some retail buying online, a small amount, one of the things that I did was I did some auction buying. I got some really good deals and I think because of the holiday, a lot of people were going out retail. And so I went to this auction house. I'd never been uh, done business with them before. So I put up some bids and you guys won't believe what I ran into. Inside the, the envelope was two different packages. And this first one, were these silver Swiss francs. And so I was into a little franc buying mode here, guys. These are silver francs. Let's see what these things look like. These are five franc coins. This is from 1932. You've got the Swiss cross in the middle and the five FR on the top. And then on the front, it says Confederatio Helvetica. Pretty cool. These are Swiss five francs from 1930s. 32 and on the edge there's also writing and it's raised dominus dominus provet provet and then a bunch of stars raised pretty neat design actually guys that's from the 30s this one here same thing same mint mark but from 51 pretty cool these are about the size of a half dollar uh, i would venture to say they're actually bigger they, they are. They're slightly bigger. They have a little more weight to them. These are 83.5% silver, so they're just less than our halves, and they're 15 grams. So it puts them actually a lower silver content or purity, but with a higher weight, you know, four tenths of an ounce. So, you know, a couple of them is about an ounce. You know, it's 80% it's, it's of an ounce. Really nice wreath on the back on, the, on either side of the shield with the Swiss cross in the middle. Confederatio Helvetica. So these are Swiss. So something to know about, guys, is, you know, looking for silver, constitutional silver, you know, uh, or, or that type, right, junk type silver that potentially has numismatic value and a little bit different. I find a bunch of them. I find them really cool and collectible. And then this one was a 54. So now I've got another year to add to the set. And there's your obverse. Pretty cool. So pretty neat little, you know, kind of almost half or four tenths of an ounce, almost half ounce coins. Uh, very cool. Very collectible, very recognizable. And this one, guys, unbelievably is like almost uncirculated condition. Beautiful. It's got a little spotting right in the middle of the cross. But, you know, other than that. I mean, this thing is immaculate. Well, it's almost on circulator. Something might have been resting on top of it. You can see right around the edge of the cloak there. It's like, you know, something was sitting on it that got a little dirty or water spotted or something. But it does not look circulated or it's barely circulated. The devices look, you know, pristine. I mean, they're not worn at all. In fact, if you look at the cloak, you can see like the lines in the cloak. As William Tell on the obverse, and you can see his cloak. Two variations of edge lettering on this. One of them says Dominus Providebit, 10 stars next to it, and the other has Dominus, and then the stars. So this is a type one where you've got the stars are not in between. All of these are type ones. So we've got a nice little stack here, guys. These were minted until on and off different years until 1954. And then there was a 10 year break until 65. And then they came out in 65, 66, 67, and 69. Now I needed a couple of barbers for a book that I'm putting together. And there was one in particular. And uh, you know, it's, it's sort of a book of not great condition barbers that I'm filling out. And so uh, I wanted to have the half dollar that was in there. And there was another one with it. So I figured my total price would bring the cost of the other one down by that amount by having an, you know, sort of having an extra barber. So the extra is the 1908. And as you can see, it is the lesser condition of the two. 
as you look at the back of these, you can kind of tell. You've got a very well-defined reverse on this one. It's not great shape. It's worn. I mean, you 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 know can barely make out uh, sort of the motto that's in the eagle's mouth and the shield, but it's got its lines. And for a barber, they're it's in pretty good shape. And what we've got here, guys, is a 1915. No mint mark. And usually mint marks mean that you've got the rarer, but in this case, the 13, 14, and 15 barbers with no mint mark are kind of the kind of the keys for the series. And I did not have a 15. And you know, they're not over overly expensive, but uh, they're certainly much more than melt. And so I've had a hole in the book, and this is going to fill it. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. So guys. Tell me what you think. What are you adding to your collection these days? Uh, give me a comment down below and let me know. And also head over and check out my 500 sub gaw that I'm running right now. Make a comment, get entered, and uh, be sure and join the live stream on the 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, this is Value Hunter, and I'm signing out.